Welcome to the lesson on measuring position with encoders. In this lesson, you'll be able to describe the basics of encoder measurements and configure an NI DACMX task to read them. First, we'll start with an overview of how encoders work, so you'll be able to describe the characteristics of encoders and how they might affect your measurement system requirements. An encoder consists of an LED, a light sensor, and a structure with alternating clear and opaque segments. The clear segments in this structure let light shine through to the light sensor, while the opaque segments block it. The light sensor can detect these changes in lighting and output a square wave pulse that can be interpreted as position or motion. Two main types of encoders are linear encoders and angular encoders. Linear encoders have a moving LED and light sensor assembly along with a stationary strip that has the alternating clear and opaque segments. This type of encoder is used in such devices as printers and calipers. Angular encoders have a stationary LED and light sensor assembly along with a rotating disc that has the alternating clear and opaque segments along the perimeter. This type of encoder is mainly used to measure the angular position of motors. In order to convey direction, encoders usually use two tracks, A and B. The two common types of encoders that use these two channels are two-pulse encoders and quadrature encoders. In a two-pulse encoder, channels A and B represent opposite directions. A rising edge on channel A will increment the count, while a rising edge on channel B will decrement the count. Quadrature encoders use a 90 degree phase difference between the two signals to convey direction. If the signal in A leads the signal in B, the position count will increment. If the signal in B leads the signal in A, the position count will decrement. Many encoders use a third signal for Z indexing. This signal produces a pulse at fixed positions, for example, at 0 degrees or 45 degrees on an angular encoder. This is used to create a reference position for your application, so that, for example, you can set your counter to zero when you're starting a new measurement, or so you can measure your angular position rather than the number of rotations you've gone through. Software interprets the pulses that encoders generate through a process called decoding. All two-pulse encoders will use two-pulse counting. Quadrature encoders can use either X1, X2, or X4 decoding. Your software determines the angular position of your encoder through the formula shown. It takes your edge count and divides it by X multiplied by N. X is either 1, 2, or 4, depending on whether you're using X1, X2, or X4 encoding, and N is the number of pulses per shaft revolution of your encoder. This is a specification that is specific to the encoder.
Your software determines the angular position of your encoder through the formula specific to the encoder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.